Hello boys and girls, thank you very, very, very much for joining us again for Sunday School Live. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic week and everyone had their birthday last week. Happy birthday from last week for this week to you as well. Boys and girls, I want to thank you very, very much for joining us for Sunday School Live! Boys and girls, we started last week thinking about some big things in the Bible and we climbed up a mountain to see a boat at the top. A boat not like any other boat. But boys and girls, I want to say congratulations. Thank you very much for joining us today. Do you know what, boys and girls? It's time to get going. I want you, wherever you are watching, get standing up on your feet, boys and girls, because... It's time to sing. Are you ready? Let's sing together. What have we got first? We are going to sing about Nicodemus. When he came to see, who did he come to see? That's right. Let's sing together. That's right, boys and girls, loads and loads and loads of people that you might speak to say, I want to go to heaven. Boys and girls, but what did that chorus, what did that song say to us? To go to heaven, we must. <laughs> again. That's right, boys and girls, we must be born again. Let me tell you, we need to get going because we need to ask God for his help today. Are you ready? You know how we pray. We pray one two and three. Our God and Father, we thank you that you sent your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, not just to speak to Nicodemus or Zacchaeus or the disciples or all those great people in the New Testament, but you sent him for us to die on the cross so that we can have our sins forgiven, so that we can be born again, so that we can be in heaven one day. So bless everyone that's watching today in your son's precious and lovely name. Amen. Boys and girls, I want to thank you very much for joining us for Sunday School Life. Because, boys and girls, we are going, uh, we've already prayed. But we have, what did we learn, boys and girls, last week? We learned about some big things in the Bible. We learned last week about a tower, a tower of Babel. But boys and girls, we're going to learn about something completely different this week. We're learning about big things in the Bible. So boys and girls, what do you think we're going to learn about this week? We are going to learn about something that will remind us about Jesus. Because boys and girls, every time you listen and come to Sunday School Live, it's important that we learn something about Jesus. 
not just some cool fun facts, not just about some big towers, but how they remind us of Jesus. So boys and girls, let me tell you, this week we are going to learn, yes, you got it, we're going deep dive down into the ocean, because we are going to learn about a great fish a great fish. Let me tell you, before we get cracking on the great fish, boys and girls, before you natter too much and you might get swallowed up by a whale. But boys and girls, let me tell you that the blue whales are one of the largest animals to have ever lived after the flood. Boys and girls, let me tell you about a blue whale. A blue whale is not pink. Did you get that? It's a blue whale. Did you know a blue whale's tongue, yes, a blue whale's tongue can weigh as much as a elephant. That's right. Just their tongue is so heavy. And do you know their heart, their, their heart can weigh as much as a car. Big, massive animals is a blue whale. But boys and girls, when you think about a great fish, what does it remind you of? It reminds me of a message. It reminds me of this man here, and you might know his name. Let me tell you, his name is Jonah. Jonah. Jonah had been given a task to do by God. He had been given a message to go to a town called Nineveh. And he was going to go and tell them about Jesus. Boys and girls, too often you have been, we have been given a message and we don't listen to it. There, Jonah had been given a message to go and tell people about Jesus and what he is, was going to do for them. Boys and girls, the message that God had given to Jonah was for people. It might sound simple, boys and girls, but when you think about this great fish, you think about people. The message was all about people. It wasn't about making money. It wasn't about some political plan. It, was, it wasn't even about being famous. It was about people. And the message of the Bible, boys and girls, is about individuals just like you and just like me. God wants to save you. And he wants to save me. Boys and girls, the great fish reminds us of a destination. Do you know what? Jonah had to go to a place that God wanted him to. We have a destination that we will end up in. It'd be either heaven or it'd be hell. Boys and girls, heaven is the place where God is and hell is the place where God isn't. Boys and girls, let me tell you that Jonah, he had a plan. He had a plan. Jonah had his own plan. This was to run away from God. Boys and girls, sometimes we want to run away from God as well. We're not interested in what God wants us to do or wants to tell us to. But boys and girls, he has made a plan for you so that you can have your sins forgiven. He sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, so that you too can have your sins forgiven. Boys and girls, the last thing that this great fish reminds me of it reminds me of a journey. That's right, a journey. God's plan for Jonah was a great fish. God directed Jonah's journey. That's a mouthful, isn't it? God directed Jonah's journey to where he should have been. He was disobedient to God, but God took him back on track. We learned a verse last week, didn't we, boys and girls? And that verse told us that God will never leave us or forsake us. Jonah tried to get away from God, but God was still interested and still wanted him to be a blessing to other people. Boys and girls, when you think about a great fish, remember that we can learn about Jesus. We can learn about a journey. We can learn about a plan, a message, a destination, and the people that needed to hear the message. That's right. The Bible tells us so much about the Lord Jesus Christ, even from the bottom of the ocean. Boys and girls, you've been listening very, very well. Thank you very much for tuning in today. 
boys and girls, it is now time to sing. Are you ready? Let's go on our feet, boys and girls. We're going to sing the fast paced back to front countdown song. Are you ready? Let's go. That's right, every day is getting closer to when the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come back again. Boys and girls, do you know what he promised? He promised to come back again to take everyone who has trusted him to be with him in heaven. Boys and girls, it's time to learn our verse. We have been learning a verse every week for the past 52 weeks. And boys and girls, I want to go to the studio to see what verse we learned last week. Are you ready? I think there's a couple of people in the studio. Annabelle, are you ready? I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, 5. That's right, Annabelle. Do you know what the verse told us? It told us last week that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Louise, are you there as well? Are you in the studio? I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. That's right. Thank you very much for reminding the boys and the girls the verse that we had last week. And last, but by no means least, Naomi, can you remind the boys and the girls the verse that we learned last week? Um, let me have a look. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. That is right. Thank you very much, boys and girls. But let me tell you, it's time to learn another verse, boys and girls. We, this is our verse for this week. Do you know what, boys and girls? It's another nice and easy verse to learn. Slightly longer than last week, but not very much. Boys and girls, I'll say this through before, and then we'll learn it together. Are you ready? Am I ready? Let's go. He that has ears to hear... Let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. That's right. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. Boys and girls, we can learn so much from this verse. We're going to start at the first word. It's got two letters and it is the word he. And do you know what, boys and girls, that includes you. And that includes me. That includes you, more likely, and that includes me. If you're a boy or a girl, however old you are, wherever you live, this verse includes you. It includes you, boys and girls. Do you know what the verse tells me? It says, he that has ears to hear. Boys and girls, have you ever heard that God has given us ears for a reason? Someone has told, might have told you we've got two ears and one mouth so that we can listen before we speak or we listen more than we talk. Boys and girls, we need to use our ears to listen to God. Do you know what? How can we listen to God? God might speak to us when we read his word, the Bible. Sometimes God might speak to us when we hear Christians telling us about God. Sometimes we might read books and if they're based on the truth of the word of God, then God can use those to speak to us. It's important, boys and girls, that we have two ears to listen to God. And boys and girls, the last word that we're going to learn from this verse is the last word in the verse. It's the word hear. You might say, Jonathan, that's the same as listen. But let me tell you, just like Jonah, we need to listen to God. We need not just to listen, but we need to hear. Sometimes we can hear people speaking, but we can't remember what they've said. You might have heard someone say this, it goes in one ear and out of the other. 
boys and girls, when we listen to God, make sure we don't just listen, but make sure we hear. Make sure it registers inside there and we remember what God wants us to know. Boys and girls, let's learn this verse together. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. We're thinking about big things at the moment, aren't we, boys and girls in Sunday School Live? So I think we're going to go big. See if you can read that. It's got a few words left. Boys and girls, we're going to learn this together. Are you ready? He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. Boys and girls, thank you very much for learning this with me. That's big, but that is bigger. Boys and girls, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. If you thought that was big, that is bigger. Boys and girls, five, four, three, two, one. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. Boys and girls, you have been learning this verse very well. Remember to take a recording and put it, send it in for the studio next week. Boys and girls, we're going to say this through one more time. Are you ready? On the count of five, four, three, two, one, go. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. Thank you very much, boys and girls, of learning all these verses with me. This is the truth from the word of God, the best things that you could ever, ever learn. But now it's time to sing. Boys and girls, let's get going. Let's get standing on our feet because we are going to sing about Mr. Noah. That's it, the promise that God made. Whenever you see a rainbow, when you see a rainbow, boys and girls, remember that rainbow was given to us by God. And that rainbow reminds us of the promises of God. Boys and girls, you have been doing very well today. It is now time for our story. I told you last week that if you don't like heights, do not look down because we're going climbing, we're going high, we're going stratospheric, boys and girls, in our story this week. We're going to climb another mountain. Boys and girls, are you ready? Strap in because we are getting going. I need to tell you, boys and girls, about our story this week. And our story this week is all about a group of desert people people. They were called the Amalekites. They came behind the traveling Israelites and started attacking the weak and the elderly people that were in the convoy with the nation of Israel. How unkind and how cruel is that? Moses, he told a young man, he told a leader called Joshua to choose some strong, some fighting men to go out and fight the Amalekites the following day. And boys and girls, let me tell you that there they are. They're all assembled. They're all getting ready. And the next day, boys and girls, they all set off. Moses told them that he would stand on the top of a hill, a mountain called the Mount Nebo. And with the staff of God held in high in his hands, Moses, along with the 
another leader, along with Aaron, a leader and a leader called Hur, they went to the top of Mount Nebo. And they called to God for his strength and his power in the battle. Do you know what? At the top of the mountain, Moses lifted his hands up. You can see him there. You can see for miles in the distance because he's up so, so high, boys and girls. He lifted his hands up to heaven. And let me tell you, while Moses' hands were lifted up as high as he could get them, Joshua and his men began winning the battle. God was on their side. God was giving them strength, boys and girls. And when Moses lowered his hands, when his hands were not as once they were pointed up to the sky, the enemy started to win. The enemy started to win. And Moses became exhausted and Aaron and her sat him on a very large stone at the top of a very large mountain and helped him keep his hands high. They supported him through the whole day until the sun went down. We call that sunset. And Joshua and his men, they fought very viciously. They were victorious, boys and girls. They wanted to know that God was with them. And if I skip to the right slide again, they knew, boys and girls, that with God's help and with God's strength, in that evening, the battle was finally won. God had told Moses to write something on a scroll that Joshua and the people could read to be reminded of the victory that God had given them. It said, I will completely defeat the Amalekites so that they no longer are around. And you know what there happened? Moses, he had built an altar and he had written and he called it the Lord is my banner. Then he declared, as the Amalekites attacked us, the Lord will be at war with them from now on. Boys and girls, with their enemies defeated. God led his people to the foot of Mount Sinai where they set up a camp. And boys and girls, we can learn from this story that with God, we can have the victory. With God, we can have our sins forgiven. And let me tell you, boys and girls, there they are. They're sitting beside a mountain. And because God had given them the victory, they can have strength. Let me tell you, boys and girls. I want to take you to another mountain. This is the mountain called Calvary on which the Lord Jesus Christ died. Boys and girls, just like Moses going up a mountain, just like God promising and giving the army strength, because the Lord Jesus Christ died upon this mountain, upon this cross, we too can know what it is to have our sins forgiven, to have peace with God, through the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus took the punishment for my sins and he took the punishment for your sins. That if you trust him, you too can have your sins forgiven. All you need to do is ask him to be your saviour. Boys and girls, you have listened very, very well. We've now conquered two mountains in our new series. We have four mountains to go boys and girls it's time to sing i want you to wherever you are wherever you're watching let's get on your feet boys and girls because now it is time to sing are you ready Boys, boys and girls, boys and girls, it's now time to ask, thank God for his help today. Are you ready? Let's pray. Boys and girls, you know how we pray. We pray one, we pray two, and we pray three. Our God and Father, 
We thank you that you loved us so much that you sent the Lord Jesus Christ into this world. You give us the strength that if we trust in you, that we can have our sins forgiven. And our Father, we thank you for your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for everything that he has done for us in dying on the cross to save us from our sins. So bless everyone that's listening, everyone that's tuned in to watch the Sunday School today. In your Son's precious and lovely name. Amen. Boys and girls, I want to thank you very much for joining us today at Sunday School Live. Because this is recorded, you will find out who won the quiz in the comments box below, to the left, to the right, to the side. Find out who won the quiz last week, boys and girls. I want to say congratulations to you all. And this Sunday School would not be possible without all the amazing resources that are available to us. Boys and girls, I want to remind you to remind me to remind you to remember that the, you can too can do the online quiz. You will find the link to that in the comments box below this video. If you have learned the memory verse this week, why not record that? Send that back to us on Facebook, on WhatsApp or on email. And you can too can be in the studio next week. If you're on YouTube, boys and girls, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification button so you can see all the amazing stuff that we're up to at the Gospel Hall, Mitcham Junction. Boys and girls, if you are on Facebook, click that like button. Why don't you share this post so everyone else can too enjoy the amazing time that we've had together today learning from the Word of God. Boys and girls, I want to thank you very much for joining us today at Sunday School Life. I've got one last thing to say to you, boys and girls. I am home and you're home. So I will look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.